Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Recently, I decided to revisit a childhood game of mine that I have played 15 years ago. It has brought back some incredible memories and surprisingly, it has been quite a fun experience. Yes, that game is RuneScape 2, also known as Old School RuneScape. For those of you that are around 20 to 30 years of age right now, which is the majority of my audience, then you have most likely played or heard of this game. So in the past 4 or 5 days I played this game, I have managed to get my character's stats to over 40 in strength, range, magic, and a bunch of others. For those of you who used to play this game initially, I made her as a pure, which means I raised all offensive combat stats as high as possible while keeping defense at 1 in order to keep my levels low and in order to compete and PK against or PvP against other pures that fought in the wilderness. For those of you who do not understand right now, just bear with me and things will be a lot clearer in a moment. So once all the training was done, I decided to do a bunch of PvP action, or rather they call it PKing as it is known in this game, and well, I got bored of it. After that I decided to finish up all the quests that were available to free to play members. The only reason I was able to make so much progress in such a short time was because of these few YouTube guides that I found online that talked about how and where to level up as soon as possible from a fresh account. It was quite an experience and I honestly thought completing the free version of this game would take a lot longer. Back 15 years ago when I was a kid, this sort of progress took me at least a month, if not more mainly because of a bunch of quality of life changes and updates as well as access to guides and simply being older and more experienced at the game. These changes that I talked about included stuff like being able to cook a whole inventory of food with just one button, to the removal of random events that used to be downright annoying. It actually would kill you while you were training and gathering skills in the game. Thankfully that is not in the game anymore, but I do have a sad story that I wanted to share with you guys and it happened to me 15 years ago, back then when there was this cosmetic item called the Santa Hat and it was extremely rare and it was worth millions to other players. I decided to buy one with my entire bank and one time I was mining, my axe head flew off for like the 10th time and then a high level golem spawns as a random event and it outright kills me. For those of you who do not know, in this game when you die, all items but 3 of the most valuable that the game deems worthy is dropped on death. So yeah, you guys probably guessed it by now, all my stuff was dropped except for the iron ores and my pickaxe which are virtually useless. In summary, I kept a bunch of junk that I could have gotten within minutes and lost the most important item to me, just because the Santa hat to vendor price is worth practically nothing, but to players it's worth millions. But here's the good news. These random events are now wiped out from the game. The only ones that remain are the ones that benefit players and those ones still remain. Anyways, this game has come a long way and it's been polished up a lot and updated ever since then and now it's a lot easier to quest and get around the game. With so many YouTube guides online and the introduction of Grand Exchange or for those of you who played World of Warcraft, it's the equivalent to an auction house where you can trade things in between each other from different servers all over the region or all over the world and it is also shared between all servers. This was a serious time saver and probably the reason why I was able to progress through this game so quickly. The pace of the game that I experienced with the help of guides was actually rather enjoyable. By now you have probably seen and scoffed at my username. Some may even ask, JC, why are you a girl? Because I feel like it. It's also fun to be instantly recognized as an Irelia main while adventuring through this game. If you are thinking about giving this game a try, I have a bunch of quick start guides in the video description below that will help you progress as smoothly as I did. I also have a private chat toggled on so that anyone who adds me in game can see if I'm online and message me. If you have it toggled off, it might appear as offline so just make sure you guys turn that on if you guys want to message me. Anyway, with all the free to play quests done in such a short time and nothing much left to do, I'm deciding whether or not to pay some money and become a member and do more quests, getting massive amounts of EXP and levels that way. It just sounds like a lot of fun and perhaps some of you guys would like to join me. This game is also going to be available on mobile phones very soon so I think this game will blow up at the end of this year so you guys will probably be able to start this game off and then after that you guys can play it on mobile phones when the app gets released. Get a head start at least, I think that's a good thing. Anyways, if you do decide to join me in the game, you probably have to catch up to me but I don't think I'll be playing that much because I still have to make League of Legends content anyway so I won't be on every day. So you guys can easily catch up to me and then we can probably do the same quest in the member worlds or maybe in free to play, I'll probably do a bunch of like skilling in the free to play world so you guys could catch me there. I left a bunch of useful links down below for those of you who would like to get started right away. Also, 100% be sure to download OS Buddy for your game client if you want to play. You can thank me later on this one, I am able to play this game in full screen this way so make sure you get that client if you want to play, it's going to be a headache if you don't have it. 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching to the very end. I'm sorry, but you might as well just trade me a rune set right now. Oh, baby, we didn't even need the Gmall. Good fight, bro. Oh, baby, that's what I'm talking about right there. Boom. There we go, 550k loot, not bad at all. Oh, he said nope. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. I will have more league content out tomorrow, so don't you worry. I'll see you all tomorrow. Cheers.